Okay, YouTubers, this is B More here. Um, so, I'm going to pretty much tell y'all how to polish the head on your goat head. You can do this with any goat head as long as it's got an aluminum head, which they all do. Um, Alright. <clears throat> Instead of looking at me, I'll show you the motor, uh, the head that I polished, and it's not even complete, so, uh, you know, for some of you that aren't going to complete it or just want to fool around, well, this will be a perfect example for you. But I'll tell you step by step how to start and finish it pretty much. Pretty simple. Anyways, this is my go pet engine. Okay. Right here. Alright, first I'm going to tell y'all what kind of engine this is. You know, for some of y'all that may have the same motor. Um, anyways, this motor here is a Komatsu Zenoa. Um, it's a Komatsu Zenoa, and it is a GZ25M14GO engine. Uh, right here is the model number. It's part of it. Um, GZ25N, and the 14 on there is missing, but uh, you get the gist of it. So anyways... So what I'm saying here is, uh, this here, there's really not many performance parts for this engine. So that's why I'm, you know, showing you guys this. At least you can customize it a little bit. But anyways, this head originally was, uh, it was square around the edges. Okay. So what I did was I kind of. And that's another thing, like you can make your own shape for your head and everything. But what I did was I rounded it off, rounded it off here, here, and uh, I didn't quite finish this. But anyways, what I did was I went ahead, I went ahead and uh, I sanded this down. Um, and what I did was. I took 80 grit. 40 grit is a bit harsh. I took 80 grit, sanded that down, and then I went to 100 grit, sanded it down. Okay. Now, just to let you guys know, it was dull looking before I did this. It's kind of got a shine to it now. But anyways, you can still see the scratches in there. So what you want to do is you want to go from 80 grit, which is rough, to 100 grit, step it up to 50, you know, 600 grit to 1,000 grit, 1,500, 2,000. The, the more you step it up from a lower number, like 80 grit, um, 80 grit is going to help you take it down, take down the uh, dullness of it. Um, 1500 to 2000 grit is going to help you take away all the, the, the deep scratches and make it like a mirror, okay? Any of you guys can do this at home. Go get yourself some sandpaper. Uh, best thing to do would to be uh, is uh, use like a uh, get yourself a drill with a you know, you know, a special. Uh, pad on it where you can you know sand it uh, but anyways you know it, that'll help you do it faster less uh, elbow grease but um anyways that's pretty much it it's pretty simple any of you guys can do it at home this like I said is not complete uh, from stock to where it is even though it's not complete still looks a whole lot better it, I think it does. Um, I mean, it looks, to me, it looks, eh, 
looks more performance wise but uh you give a cleaner look anyways that's it youtube this is be more signing out hope y'all like the video if you have any questions feel free to ask um, most of all like share subscribe to help me build my channel um it's be more signing out y'all have a great one